Why D? Why You asking me, Sapa? Yes. Things to talk about. We've got some things to talk about. I'm the best newcomer. Ask about. I'll be back to you, bro. I hate that to be you. Fuck. Phoenix Fire once again, Error versus Error. I know there's a lot of people on the card, right? This is gonna be a dope event. I'm here with Yen Dizi, aka YD. What's up, YD? You all right? What's happening, man? How you doing? Yeah, man, I'm good, you know. Not bad, man, not bad at all. Why are you called YD? Uh, it's just short for Yen Dizi, to be honest. Okay, is that your name, Yen Dizi? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's been my name for a while. Okay. It's been my name for quite a while. Yeah. Is that your actual name or is that your like name? No, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. It's just like it's part of my actual name. Then? Oh, it's part of your actual name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It used to be um it used to be Yendog. 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 Yeah, Yendog. Yeah. I should call you one. Like Yendog, in it, but you gotta have the slang on, you gotta have like Yang you know dog. what I mean? Yang dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was going to ask you, why is your name Yang Dizi instead of why is it your ID? But it's all good. You're giving me the yeah. next thing. Well, thank you for that. So, no problem. how are you feeling about facing the knife bar king? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel like it's, um, it's an opportunity that can't be missed yeah. for fans and myself. I definitely feel like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely want to make the most out of it. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. You think it's going to be a challenge for you? Oh, definitely. Definitely it's going to be a challenge. And that's that's what I signed up for this whole thing for, you know. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a rapper outside of battle rap anyway. Yeah. So um, when I got the opportunity, it was just like, all right, let me see what, what I can come up with in terms of writing, yeah. you know. Okay. Um, in terms of writing, I feel like, I feel like I can match a lot of them. It's just um, there's a there's something that like the vets know about putting it all together and presenting it for a battle rap crowd and everything that I'm still learning. I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning. And that's definitely where I feel like a lot of people got an edge, um, especially like with their experience and stuff. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like these are the kind of battles that test me to bring that out of myself and you know, see if it solidifies me. I feel like, yeah, this, this battle could could pretty much solidify me. Definitely. Um, so how are you feeling? I feel like you're gonna, you feel like you're gonna beat him? Feel like you're gonna win this battle? I feel like I have a very good chance. I feel like a very good chance. You know, um, nothing's guaranteed out here. Nothing's guaranteed. Um, I'm not, I'm not battling a slouch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not battling a slouch. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, uh, what do you think yeah. the Templars? strongest attribute as a battler um kind of like it's like the velocity of, of of how he raps and punches like as an onlooker probably like in a crowd or anything like that that energy that he kind of gives off yeah, i feel like naturally people are going to react to it Mm. Um, so I feel like that's something that not everyone can do. Not everyone can capture it with like the whole your whole personality and your whole character of you as a battle rapper when yeah. you're in that ring, you know. So I definitely, I definitely like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, what type of rapper would you say you are? Are you more lyrical? Are you puncher or schema? Um. It's hard because like I've had so few battles. It's really, yeah. Like I feel like I've approached every battle differently to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. um, I'd lean more towards the lyrical side. I definitely feel like, you know, um, there's a lot of intricate stuff in what I say, and it goes over a lot of people's heads. So I definitely would say lyrical. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a, much of a scheme. I think I tried. I tried a bit of scheming probably in my first and second battles, but I don't feel like I tried too much in my last battle. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. To be honest, I'm still finding my feet in this. In that sense, um, I, I'd stick with lyrical. That's the only one I yeah, can. In time, you, 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 perhaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one thing I can say, I can say, yeah, is definitely. Um, I feel like I stand out as as with my lyrics, yeah. but with the rest of it. I feel like I, yeah, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see what else I can be labelled with. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Um, what battle are you looking forward to the most apart from your battle? Apart from my one, um, I definitely want to see Tally and Tech. Mm. Definitely want to see that one. I want to see how that one goes down. Right. I definitely want to see that. Right. Um, the cars, the cars packed. To be honest, the cars packed. Yes. Um, Trust me. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be one of the bigger fights. Um, Tony Roots and uh, it's Tony Roots, Tony D and Georgie Roots. Um, do you know what? I think someone said that yesterday on the stream as well, you know, something like that. <laughs> and he said he'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely looking forward to that one. I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited to see everyone perform. Um, it's been a minute. This will be my first actual battle rap event that I'm attending. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just excited to see everyone. I just want to just learn and grow from it. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? that's awesome. So, apart from battle rapping, what is your favorite thing to do? Just rapping, I suppose. <laughs> just rapping in general. It's something I, 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 you know what? You know what? It's not even just the rapping side of it. It's the writing. I'll be honest. It's the writing that I like. I like to be able to come up with uh, different ways to use words and put them together. In it, it just so happens that the outlet for me to do that right now, mm. I got to tear someone down to do so. You know what I mean? I got to kill kill <laughs> someone in there. I got to kick someone's ass to do so. Yeah. If that's the way for me to test my pen right now, then so be it. But Mm. Yeah, that's that's definitely what I'd say I, I like to do the most is okay. is right. Yeah. Um, do you feel um, that the new era have an, any advantage over the old era? Um, in the sense that what we're doing is near enough proven to be working right now. Um, the older era. I mean, the ones that haven't battled in quite a while. Someone's only battled like a year or two ago. I mean, you're probably still going to work, you know what I mean? But if you haven't battled in maybe four or five years, it nostalgia, maybe, but I don't know if they, I don't know innit, if they're necessarily going to be up to times with what we're doing right now in a sense, innit? So I feel like that's one factor that the new era could have over them. Um, the fact that we're the underdogs mostly, well, pretty much, yeah, in every battle, and pretty much in every battle we're the underdogs. So, you know, um, I feel like less is necessarily expected of us, more is expected of them to put on, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of us just kind of just got to prove we can hang. If we get a body at the end of it, cool. But all these vets, man, like, this is like, a lot of, like, if they have a bad showing or something, people could say you should have just stayed, stayed, stayed inside, you know what I mean? <laughs> so they're at risk at that. It's at mm -hmm. risk of that right now. Are you on, are, well, obviously, are you team new era? Like, do you feel like everyone yeah. new era is going to win? Yeah, yeah, man. They've got to back us, man. Got to back us, you know? You've got to definitely have the energy behind us, man. Got to have the energy behind us. I can't, man. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, to be fair, I don't think every single battle is necessarily going to go that way, but it's battle rap. You don't even know what's going to happen until people. Yeah, happen. Until we, yeah you never know. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna back my what side, isn't it? What do you think might be the upset of the night? Like an unexpected win. Most unexpected win. See, you no, know, I've had a few people with struggle with this question, you know, the biggest upset. Because there's not many battles on the card that I feel like like the underdog doesn't have a chance. Like they could, there's an attribute that they possess that proves that they probably could win. Mm -hmm. um, I guess after all the talk I hear about Tony D, um, you know what I mean? Like obviously I've watched it, but I've never been in the room or anything like that. I wasn't part of that era. I wasn't around him or even following battle rap in it when he was mm -hmm. doing his thing. So um, I feel like if Georgie comes away with that and clear, clear as well, Georgie's not supposed to be able to do that. You know what I mean? George is not supposed to. So I'll probably say that one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, who do you think are the top three spitters in your era? Um, Wadi, Roots, and No, you can't, you can't say your, okay, no, no, you can say yourself, actually. You can. Yeah. Yeah, you can say yourself. Wadi, Roots, um, in terms of spitters, yeah, them two. Are you saying my era? Yeah, so like a modern era. More than modern era. So not just battle rap, just like just spitting no, in no, general. No, battle rap, battle rap. Roots. Okay, okay. Well, Roots anyway, yeah. Um, I think it's me, Roots and Tech, man. Honestly, I feel like it's me, Roots and Tech. 
Um, other people, they, I don't know, I might have to check when they when they came in and what these areas are defined as, but mm-hmm. that's that's the three names I hear knocking about the most, you know? Yeah. So what do you think of battle rap slogans? Are they annoying or are they necessary? <laughs> um, I think they've definitely got a place in battle rap. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. Yeah, um, I some I feel like go on for too long. There's okay. some I feel like sometimes they go on for too long, but yeah. it's effective. Um, I, I don't mind them. I don't mind them. <clears throat> when Ram Nelly first started battling, he had a mm. that was so long, but then he luckily he cut it down to um what to suicide, suicide. Yeah, you do the job, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But he had a really long set. I feel what Danny yeah. was versus Ram Nelly. He does yeah. a full slogan in that battle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I don't like when it's I'm too long. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like twerks, it. twerks, twerks. If you're, if you're a twerk, you like twerks one. You know what I mean? His one's energetic. Some people got some fire ones though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I even like Averb's one. Like Showtime. Oh, showtime. That, you know I mean? Yeah. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm here for, I'm here for Tally slogan. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, here for, slogan, I'm here for Tally <laughs> slogan. Man. I like Tally slogan. I, I want it. Like, I like when I hear it when he's just announcing like the battles and stuff when we're at the event. But I want to hear it in its full effect. Yeah. Like when he battles tech tacking it. I want to see that in its full effect. Yeah. Um, One yeah. day I might have a slogan. One day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You never know, innit? You never know. Do you know what? I kind of started, um, I think my first two battles, but I forgot to say it against tech, but I was supposed to, was, was just like, first off, this is battle rap. That's just how I started the two, two, the two rounds. Like, mm-hmm. Just first off, this is battle rap. And then just, just go in from there. You know what I mean? That's kind of funny though. <laughs> <laughs> like first off, this is battle rap. Just go in like that. Um, yeah. um what is the main thing you want to be known for or remembered for or known for as a battle rapper? As a battle rapper, just I'm happy with just like just be just my name to just be in a conversation as like like one of the best in it or just just the energy the, the lyrics like I definitely want to be known more for what my bars say than anything else like I definitely want to be known for like some people are really like when people are speaking they're like oh his presence in the room and blah blah that's cool yeah. but I would rather be known for my bars personally mm. that's just me personally I mean I feel like if you check out some of my interviews with this mm. ever, ever like, I feel like we've had good things to say about you. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like people have, can see the potential in them. Yeah. And I, and I feel like, obviously, it comes with the performance of the bars and stuff as well, which I'm still learning. But I feel like it's mainly because of my writing. That's mm. what I feel like. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's mainly because of my writing. It's not really nice. My point. approach, my approach when I'm, when I'm attacking as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. I could say I'm quite direct. Yeah. I just don't know any other way to write. Like if I've got a if I've got a concept in front of me, and this in battle rap, it just so happens to be a whole person. So that's my concept. When I was younger, and I used to write, I used to do a lot of grand music and stuff. We used to sit there in the studio for hours, just coming up with different kind of concepts. All right, let's write, make one about shoes or something. Let's make one about dating. Let's make one about this particular subject with a girl kind of thing. So I, I'm very used to that. So battle rap for me is. An extension of that it's like oh i've got this person now all right what can i make out of this three different verses basically three different tracks yeah. you know yeah. uh, and, and and go from there that's the way i take it mm-hmm. okay let me um ask you a couple of battles tell me how you're going to call them from this mm-hmm. okay um straps versus trouble i feel like trouble is going to take it home okay um, Willsy versus Enigma. Um, I feel like if Enigma doesn't have what do you call it, jet lag, battle lag, um, because he's been doing quite a lot um, recently. He's in, he's involved in another tournament and stuff. If he doesn't have jet lag in that sense and he's very focused on Willsy, then I feel like he can win that one. Okay, and let me see. Vivers versus Moke. This is again. Very, very Moke's got a lot of like kind of this other things going on, like outside of battle rap as well, and in battle rap as well. So it really depends on how focused he is on 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 what what an opportunity he has right now. 
you know, because um, Rivers ain't no joke in this and he's got a very, very big name in this. So if he can have a stronger performance or win, that that would be different. But I think the smart money's on Rivers, if I'm honest. Okay. And the smart money's on Rivers. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so what are your last words for Templar? Um... Just see you in just see you in July, man. Just see you in July. Appreciate the opportunity. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna show up. That's it, literally. I'm gonna show up, man. I'm definitely showing up. And I hope you do too. That's all. Look forward to the battle. It's gonna be fire. <laughs> thank you for taking time. I definitely you. thank you, Phoenix, man. Definitely be back. Hey, man. For real, for real. Okay. I, oh yeah, by the way, shout out your social media so people can follow. Oh, um, yeah, so I'm uh, Yendizi on all social media. Just, just, just my name. Just type that in, I'm everywhere. <laughs> um, I've got Still Laughing EP, just released on all digital platforms. You can find it on YouTube as well, Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Uh, so go check that out, give it some play. And uh, yeah, Fiddle the Elbow, July 25th, Error versus Error, YD versus Surfer, man. We ain't gonna see a battle like this. We are not gonna see a battle like this. I tell you that. Mm. We're not. Good man. Make sure y'all catch it. Make sure you're there. Um, that's about it. It's your girl Phoenix Fire, y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Thank you so much, Bye. No problem. Bye.